Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial video. Uh, here I will show you how to generate uh, the RESTful API code for c .net and vb.net. Uh, you can check this link at irestgen.sami.com. This is the website for uh, the RESTful API generator. You can go to uh, the project open source on, data, on GitHub. Or you can uh, download as a file or tar file. Uh, okay. When uh, we press the, uh, when we download this project and extract it, we will look something like this. The solution of the project. Uh, we can also open the application. Uh, this is the REST API generator. Uh, model name here is the uh, model project name. Like example, this one. I will choose this one to generate uh, okay i call it i will call it item for project name it should be uh, the solution project for your api website or api mvc project let's say test i will generate for c sharp and generate also for vb.net i will uh, and i paste uh, the json object here and i will uh, click on generate uh, then I will choose uh, the folder for my project. I will choose desktop. And okay. And it's and uh, it's finished. It will say it's uh, the, the folder is on a desktop just uh, slash C sharp. Okay. Uh, let's open this. This is the C sharp version for my RESTful API. Uh, you have the, here uh, the I, uh, app slot for the web API config. Controller, the controller is created, and models, models of your JSON object, and the ID file uh, for uh, what uh, help will help you, or what plugins should you install to proceed. Okay, then I create a new Visual Studio project, and I will uh, choose C sharp web .net fonts. And here is the important thing uh, that you will choose uh, the name should be identical to uh, your project name here. So it will generate the same code for this project and you will click on OK. And you will wait to generate uh, so the video finish his creation. Take some time. Okay, and here is our new project. Well, it's not a web API yet. Uh, what to do or what to make it a web API? You will go to your uh, generated code, and we will copy the three folders here. Then you will paste it, paste it in your sorry, in your project. Copy. Yes. Okay. Paste. Uh, yes. Of uh, course, the folder app start. Like we see, it's the web app icon fit. Uh, here you can choose the config uh, API routes for your configuration. You see here some errors because uh, uh, I'm not installing. Uh, uh, I didn't install the plugins that are uh, here. And important, you should install this and this and Newton Soft JSON and ASP.NET API course. Uh, how to install it? You go to Tools, Nugget uh, Package Manager. Package Manager console and you paste here every one and you wait until finish. Then you will, you will not see any error here. 
okay for the controllers here are the controller for example this is item controller uh, he has uh, get for get all the items get one single item for an id post request put request delete also another controller the, uh, concerning your JSON uh, object like this you can see also the models for example this is the item generated he generate all the variables for you also the function are shared or static and uh, the response object is what uh, returns this object you can also edit or modify whatever you want in your project and uh, et voila uh, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. Thank you.